Hi everyone, today I'm super excited to introduce Dr. Akhil Shahani, the Managing Director of the Shahani Group. He's not just a big name in education, but also a cool innovator who's making learning fun and useful for everyone. He's involved in lots of projects like Ask Cancers, Global Discovery Schools and even helps charities through the Sage Foundation. Let's get to know something more about him. So, Dr. Shahani, with your extensive experience, what do you think is the most important innovation in education today? Well, I think the worst, most important innovation in education today is that innovations keep on happening. There's no one big bang approach or one silver bullet that says, okay, if you do this, then finally education has changed. Right. I mean, all due respect to all the people selling uh, artificial intelligence solutions and things like that. There's constant movement happening. But I think the best way to define an education innovation is basically by realizing that look, education is not just what you study inside school and inside college. Mm -hmm. It's more like understanding that education is outside the classroom and a lot more stuff you can do as an individual. So that's it. So there's no one edu innovation that you should look at. That's great. That's great. So moving on, you've received many rewards for your work in education. Which one means the most to you and why? Well, unfortunately, most uh, awards don't come with money, so that's not that <laughs> useful for me. But uh, I tell you what, the thing is, is that awards come and go, right? The thing is that, in fact, there are a lot of people who have done work which are totally unrecognized and people don't know. In fact, for example, Kailash Satyati, who got the Nobel Peace Prize, a lot of people didn't know that he existed until he got the Nobel Peace Prize, right? right. So, but I think awards by themselves are not enough. The satisfaction that you get in the work that you do, the people whose life you've helped, like, for example, when I see my kids who, are, who have uh, studied with me, have actually done well in life and they come back to me and say, say sir you helped me build my career I'm now doing this doing that right. that in my mind is a reward not the little trophies that we get so that satisfaction matters to much you. better than any award okay so I've also read that you're involved with the Sage Foundation and Unlimited India yep. can you share how these initiatives help with changing lives okay well Sage Foundation is a uh, non-profit foundation uh, what we are focused on is getting kids from low-income communities rural communities to get jobs in the white Color world, more specifically in the banking and financial services sector. Because what we believe is that if you get a blue collar kid to get a job in a white collar corporate, mm -hmm. you are able to get them out of the cycle of poverty. Correct. Training a blue collar kid into another blue collar job doesn't really break the poverty mm -hmm. cycle, right? So we do, we do that using an ed tech platform that uses behavioral science. A lot of it is derived from my research in my PhD about how to develop kids on their communication skills, critical thinking, proactiveness, professionalism, uh, and uh, team working, along with knowledge of uh, financial services. So we've actually trained and placed around 12,000 kids across India in jobs of salaries of around 2.5 lakhs to 3 lakhs a year, which is a big jump for most of these kids from those backgrounds, right? I can take within three months a kid who doesn't speak English into a banking job without using the technology. So that's Sage Foundation. The other side is, is that there's a whole area of unlimited. Uh, there are a lot of young people, like yourself, who want to start an enterprise which helps the world, which also earns money. That's what's being a social entrepreneur, right? right? So Unlimited basically is an incubator that we help social entrepreneurs to start their organization and to grow it and become more successful. Over the last uh, uh, 14 years, we've helped around 350 social entrepreneurs grow their organization and NGO founders and social entrepreneurs. And uh, on an average, they've touched around uh, 32 billion kid, uh, uh, million people uh, across uh, India and other parts of the world. And on an average, they've raised around uh, 42 billion rupees in funding. So they all do well. In fact, a lot of the very big uh, uh, social entrepreneurs, entrepreneurs that have started have come got their start from us. That's great, Mr. Yeah. Shahani. Yeah. So one question which is kind of personal. Sure. If you could go back in time and give a piece of advice to your 12 year old self, right. what would that be? I would say don't listen to some old ghost advice. Use your own brains, make your own mistakes. Because see, the thing is, is that who I am today is a result of my experiences and my mistakes. So like I mentioned in my speech earlier, is that there's no such thing as a failure. It's a learning experience. But if I didn't have those learning experiences, I would have taken a very different path. So you learn from failures. You learn so from failures. 
everything is a learning experience. All the good stuff, right. all the bad stuff, it's all education. Education is your life. Okay, nice. All right. So I heard you help out charities, like so you help kids through charities. Yes. Can you tell us a story about how you're making a difference with these charities? Well, okay. Besides Sage and uh, yeah. so, how are you making a difference in their lives? Okay. So let me give an example of uh, one of the kids who uh, came to Sage Foundation for a job. Uh, a guy called Edward De Souza, right? And uh, he was a son of a rickshawala, and he said, "I, uh, I actually want to play football for the country, right?" And uh, he, that was his ambition. So obviously, his uh, father hit him on the top of the head and said, "Don't be stupid, uh, get a job." So he jo he joined us in Sage Foundation. So what we did is that we actually educated him, like I said, over three months, taught him English, taught him selling skills, and got him a job in Standard Chartered Bank. What is interesting is a Standard Chartered. We also told Standard Chartered this guy also has an ambition to play football. So what happened is that they sent him to the UK to represent the Standard Chartered team in their national uh, football match, right? Obviously not Liverpool level, but still, so he learned, he played football, became a professional footballer for Standard Chartered. In fact, there's a big, nice picture of him holding a big uh, prize check by playing football for Standard Chartered, but he's done well, even though he's working in the bank. So yeah, so lives like that. That's great. Those are that's my awards, great. as you say. Hmm. <laughs> and that's it up. We just had a super cool chat with Dr. Akhil Shahani about making education fun, his dream class, and how he helps kids through charities. It's so cool to see how people like him are making learning better for us. Thanks for joining us, and don't forget to tune in next time for more exciting interviews.